Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and easy waffle cowl. It's very very easy to do. It's a two row repeat, great for beginners. And all you have to do is put it over your head. This is how you wear it. You don't need any buttons or anything. You can wear it like this where it looks nice and chic but you can also roll it up so your throat is even more protected from the wind from the cold and now you can see the waffle stitch even better it's very very easy to do and now i will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful cow today i'm using a six millimeter crochet hook you will also need a pair of scissors a yarn needle and today i'm using the king cold rio chunky yarn it's a beautiful yarn it has like different colors in it and they have those in different colors you need two skeins of this yarn and the color is twist of course you can use any chunky yarn you want and now let's get started we will start with a slip knot and we will crochet a chain for my scarf I will crochet 33 chains and you can adjust this very easily if you want to make it wider the chains you crocheting has to be a multiple of three so if you want it as wide as mine you crochet 33 and when not you just make a chain in a multiples of three once you finished your chain we will need the fifth chain from our hook the chain on the hook does not count as a stitch so you will count one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, insert your hook into the fifth stitch and make a double crochet. Just grab your yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. Now you go through the first two loops, two loops on your hook, grab your yarn again and go through the other two loops. And this is how you make a double crochet. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch Grab your yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. Now again, grab your yarn, go through two, and go through two. And you will repeat this in every stitch. Just one double crochet in every stitch. This is how our first row looks like, and we can start our second row. We will start with a chain two and turn our work around. Now, in the first double crochet here, we will skip that one. We need the second double crochet, which is, over, which is over here. And we need to make a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook behind the double crochet. I hope you can see it. The double crochet is laying now on my hook. Now grab the yarn, pull up. And now you have three loops on your hook again. And now just finish your double crochet. So go through the first two loops and through the other two loops. Into the next stitch here, we will make a normal double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch and make a double crochet. In the next two, we will make a front post double crochet. So again, yarn over, insert your hook that your double crochet is laying on your hook. I show you one more time, yarn over. Now go with your needle behind, come back to the front and now your double crochet is laying on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull up and finish your double front post double crochet. And we will repeat this in the next stitch. So again, insert your hook you come back on the other side and here's your double crochet and now make a front post double and into the next stitch a normal double crochet and then again two front post double crochets one and two and then again a normal double crochet into the normal stitch and you will repeat this all the way along. I finished my two front post double crochets. 
And now to finish this row, you will have to make a double crochet into the second stitch. So one, two, yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch and just crochet a double crochet. And this is how you finish off your row. And this is how it looks like. For the next row, we will chain two again and turn our work around. We will skip the first stitch over here. And now you can see we have two double crochet next to each other. And then you have this front post double crochet over here. So what we are going to do, we will skip the first stitch here, yarn over, insert a hook into the second stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch, make a double crochet. And now we are here at our front post double crochet and we will work a front post double crochet. So work your front post double crochet. And now again, you can see we have two double crochets from the previous row. So we will make two double crochets, just a normal double crochet. So one and two. And now we reach our front post again from the previous row. And there we will make a front post double. And this is our repeat. So again, in the next two double crochets from the previous row, you will make just one double crochet in each stitch. So you have two double crochets. And here's our front post. So we will make a front post double crochet. And you will repeat this all the way along. I'm here at my last front post double crochet. We have here a double crochet and our chain two. So what we are going to do is make a double crochet into the double crochet again. And now we will make a double crochet in the second chain. One, two. So yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch and make a double crochet. And this is how you finish this row. And now it's a two row repeat. For the next row, we will chain two again and turn our work around. We will skip the first double crochet here and into the next, we will make a front post double crochet. So yarn over, make a front post double crochet. And into the next stitch that is here, when you turn this work around, this is our front post. You can fill it in the back. You will make a double crochet, just a normal double crochet. Now again, two front post double crochets, one and two, and again, one double crochet, just a normal double crochet. And again, two front post double crochets. So one and two. And again into the next stitch, a normal double crochet. And again, two front post double crochets, one and two. And again, a normal double crochet. And you will repeat this all the way along. I just finished my two front post double crochets and to finish this row, it's important that we make a double crochet again into our second stitch. So one, two, yarn over, insert your hook into the second chain and make a double crochet. And when you turn your work around, you can see this beautiful waffle stitch. For the next row, you will chain two and turn your work around. And again, this first double crochet we will skip. And now you can see you have two double crochets from the previous row. And we will make one double crochet in the first double crochet. And again, a double crochet in the next stitch. 
So we have a chain two and two double crochets. And now here again is our front post double. So we will make a front post in the front post. Again, two double crochets, one and two, and a front post double. And again, two double crochets, one and two, and again, a front post double. You see, it's very easy and you're going to repeat this all the way along. I am now in my last front post double crochet. You have one double crochet and a chain two left. So in the next double crochet from the previous row, you make a double crochet again. And now into the second chain, a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch again, and make a double crochet. And this is how you finish off this row. This is how it looks like. And now you will repeat those two rows over and over again until you reach your desired height for your scarf. I will crochet a couple more rows till I reach my desired height and I will show you in just a moment how this looks like. I repeated those two rows over and over again and my measures 28 inches now. This is the perfect um, size for my cowl. You can of course make a normal scarf with that. You will just repeat making those two rows. But if you want to make a cowl like I am, you just keep crocheting until your scarf measures 28 inches. To finish off, you will make a chain one pull tight and now leave a pretty long tail because we will need this yarn to crochet both sides together. Now cut your yarn, grab your hook and pull through. Just pull through and pull tight and now we can crochet both sides together. Now you will get your beginning of your scarf and your end and lay both sides on top of each other like that. And now we will single crochet along this side and along that side. It's very easy to do. I will show you in just a moment how to do that. So all we need is those both ends and now we can single crochet both sides together once you have those two sides on top of each other, so one and two, just make sure it lays here edge to edge. And now insert your hook, go into the first stitch here, grab your yarn, pull through and chain one. And now we will just single crochet both sides together. So make sure you get the opposite side two, grab your yarn, pull up and make a single crochet into the next stitch, both sides again, and one single crochet. And you will repeat this until you get to your edge over here. I just finished single crocheting this side. I'm now here on my edge and in this edge you will make three single crochets, one, two, and three for the corner. And now you will repeat one single crochet on that side. So just those two pieces now again with one single crochet until you reach your last stitch over here. I single crochet all the way along here. Then in this corner, I made the uh, three single crochets and I repeated crocheting with one single crochet in every stitch on that side. And this is how our cowl looks like. And all we have to do now is finish off with a chain, pull tight, cut the yarn, 
grab your hook and pull through and pull tight. And all you have to do now is sew in all your ends. I just finished sewing in all my ends. Of course, you can put some tassels on it if you would like, but I think I will leave it like that. This is how it looks like. You can roll it in or you can keep it up. So that way your throat is covered and this is how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, I would love to see your pictures and you can find me on Instagram. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.